Hey, dude. Hey, Rini. What's up? Hey, do you have Ed's phone number? I dropped my cell phone the other day and I lost all of my phone number. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've got it. I'll text it to you. No problem. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Although you should know Ed's phone number. I mean, he's like one of your best friends. I know, but I have so many phone numbers, you know. I mean, how can you remember them all? Well, I remember it. I remember his. I know yours. I know everybody's, even without my phone. How do you do that? I just use a memory trick, you know, like a mnemonic device. What's that? Okay, take Ed's phone number, for example, right? 429-597-5112. There it is. It's that easy, right? All I do is I attach things of significance to those different numbers. Okay. So, for example, the first one, 429. Uh, I just think of my Aunt Ginger. She's like my favorite aunt, and uh, she was born in 1942, 42. Uh, and then when I was nine years old, she took me to the circus. It was like the best trip of my life. 429, Aunt Ginger. May 5, 1997, 97, that's when we discovered that Aunt Ginger was cancer-free. I mean, I'm never going to forget that day. All right. Well, so what's the rest? Oh, yeah. Well, the last four numbers are the, are the easiest ones, actually. Um, you, you remember that lady last year who was uh, found dead in her apartment? Well, she actually, I, I guess she actually owned like 150 cats, and when they found her, uh, they found that the cats, while she was dead, uh, laid a bunch of their eggs in her corpse. Um, and so then, like, the kittens hatched, and when the paramedics came, her body was full of dead kittens. Uh, okay. Uh, her initials are EKG, and if you transpose those initials alphanumerically, it's 5112. No, the last four numbers. So, anyway, anytime I need to remember Ed's number, I just think of Aunt Ginger, Circus, Cancer Free, Dead Lady with the Kittens in Her Corpse. Thanks.